Notice, I am a nudist. This video contains moments of partially censored nudism. The content is censored to fit Facebook's guidelines so as to conform with most people's comfort level. This content has been crafted with the hope and intention of sharing the freedom of becoming comfortable with your own body as well as nudity in general, and disassociating the bare human form with sexual content. If you are under 18 and don't have permission to view such content, please leave now. Thank you. Hello. I have a short little video today on sugarcane. Now, I live in Florida. It's fairly tropical here, and the stuff grows great. Um, in my backyard, I have a good quality dirt. Um, there's a lot of, uh, you know, kind of rich organic debris in there, so everything grows great back there. Now, the front left of my yard, this strip is just horrible sand, just crap, and uh, nothing grows well up there. So in the back of the yard, the sugar cane has taken over a good half of my yard, and I'm fine with that less to mow. Um, so uh, it grows tall, kind of like bamboo, and then just gradually falls over. Or if you, you know, have a big storm or hurricane, it'll fall over much quicker. Um, at which point, uh, the, the stalks are made up of um, smooth part and then a ridge, then a smooth part and a ridge. And so the little ridges, once um, they, will, they will grow roots and they will grow new stalks. So when they fall over, that's how they spread. Now the ones up front in the sandy area really can never establish a good root hold. And so aside from where I initially planted them, they really haven't spread anywhere. But the ones in the back have, like I said, taken over. Um, super easy to cut. Uh, I'll show you that. Just a machete. Nice and simple. Um, pretty much any knife. You can pry them apart. And um, as I just said, they propagate super easy. Now, you can get a crusher, but those can be very, very expensive. And But you would then be able to crush out the juice and have your own fresh sugar cane juice. Um... Uh, all that I do is I scrape away the um, outer husk, bark, uh, whatever, and um, chew up the inside pulp. And it's a nice sweet treat. And that's that. So, all right. Hopefully I, that's everything. I don't know if you have any questions, you're free to comment and ask me a question. Um, if you're in Florida, you just want your own sugar cane. I got plenty. Be happy to give you some. Um, all right. Enjoy the video. Bye-bye. <clears throat> Hello. So, to cut sugar cane, all you need is a good machete, or a cheap machete, will do. Relatively clean, clean cut. So I'm out here showering in the old outdoor shower, and um, I'm going to clean off my uh, sugar cane stock. I want to show you. So, whoop, let me get this in frame here. So these little buggers on the bottom, those are roots there, of course, and if you just plant them 
that'll grow. Um, but I think I think I have enough of it. Uh, I'm good. I'm covered. So I'm gonna go ahead and just soap this up with some just some regular soft soap, some liquid soap, and uh, yeah, clean it up so I can take it in and strip it down. Okay. <clears throat> so I've already cut up a little of this. I'm just gonna show you how I got. Uh, let's have some old knives. Uh, this one just used to use it and it's kind of dull and well this one obviously uh, broke handle but it's still sharp so this one's a little more rigid and I find that is helpful and I just dug under here and popping some of that up now there's kind of um, a greenish tinge to the layer under that and you want that off too until you get down to more of this fresh uh, you know off-white fibrous layer um, now, even down here where there's nothing dug in, it's not that hard to shove this through and then start a strip. So, I used to just use a Boy Scout pocket knife when I was a kid. Um, I originally started growing this, uh, I don't know, middle school, I think, so been at it some time. It's very easy. So even if you just want to do it like a peel, and you saw I just kind of pressed in and, and went. Um, now, you know, once you start it, obviously it is pretty easy, but you can also just kind of saw at it. Um, it is fibrous, you know, it's not like peeling a potato or something, but it's, um, it's uh, not that hard, really. And, um, <clears throat> you know, there's no... Uh, no real chance of a splinter from this or anything. You're, you're pretty safe. Uh, so you don't have to worry about any of that. All right, I'm gonna stop talking for a minute and I'm gonna get this thing chopped up and then uh, cut it like I did the other one. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, um, I've got it all to this point. There's a little bit I cut up earlier. I did take a minute to uh, rinse it all and weigh it all, um, and I got about 200 grams out of that uh, stalk that I cut off. Um, I did, uh, you know, cut off the adjoining sections where, where these units meet. There's a little part there where there's kind of a ridge, and that's where the roots grow, and that's where the um, new stems grow and they're hard. You don't want to try and chew those. So, uh, now that I have these, this is really easy to cut. I was actually finding it was easier to twist the sugar cane and just hold the knife solid. And of course you want to get them in little bite-sized pieces because, uh, well, at least all that I do with them is I just uh, chew on them. <clears throat> just crush them up in your mouth, basically, and you are not going to eat the fiber. Uh, I do believe that's a little rough for your digestive tract, but um, you crush it up, you get the sugary juice out of there, and I suppose you could even throw it in the fridge for a little bit, make it kind of a uh, sweet and cool summer treat. Say like uh, you throw in a little bit of watermelon in the fridge or something, you know, something like that. But they're good at any temperature, and nice and sweet and you just spit out the pulp that's left so I suppose it is a something a little easier eating outdoors because you can just spit that out pretty much anywhere but um, maybe a little cleaner here inside now I did leave some of this green stuff on there partly just because I'm lazy and you know um, partly because it did seem exceptionally juicy in this particular stock Although I just missed this part, that's that's a little too much. You know, as you get to the outer rind, like any uh, plant, it's it gets harder and harder. So you don't really want to be, you know, rubbing your teeth to a 
um, grinding your teeth down, you know, on, on plant fiber here. Um, this inner part is very soft, um, so it crushes pretty simply. Uh, no, little effort. Um, oof. Just be careful if, um, you know, careful when you, if you do this and you, obviously, because it's very easy to cut yourself or, you know, if you have um, any problems with your teeth, I, I suppose you could, uh, if you went too crazy or you didn't get the hard stuff off, you could um, damage a tooth or damage dental workings or, oh goodness, if you had braces or something, this would probably just be a horrible idea. Um, Fortunately, I'm pretty lucky and then I don't have a lot of uh, dental repair other than the teenage cavities that, uh, you know, didn't always did my best and I just always got cavities, so uh, at least till I got uh, a Sonicare toothbrush, that saved my, saved me. Never again have I had a cavity. I have to do a review on that at some point. So, if I quit being nitpicky here, this only takes a second. Yeah. Except when I get down to my fingers and I'm a little more, a little more careful. Let me just break chunks off, you know. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. So, I mean, you can see by my hands, it's pretty juicy stuff. And, uh, you know, despite using the knife and everything, it does crush pretty easy and you just get juicies juicies uh, so all that is just sugar water basically you know it's it's got its own kind of sweet plant flavor to it um, I say that and that sounds horrible <laughs> but trust me it's good um, get some sugar cane get a stock uh, you know excellent stuff enjoy